Hello everyone, what's up? And welcome to Age of Empires 2. This is a this is a game that I used to play a lot when I was a kid. Uh and uh as I was saying, the music for some reason, the volume is just like it's really weird. Every time I start the game it's really loud, but as soon as I adjust it, I can't hear it anymore. So uh Let's just leave it off. Let's just, we don't need the music. It kind of gets annoying after a while anyways. But anyways, this game, this game was uh, released a long time ago. And I used to play it all the time as a kid. I used to just waste hours and hours doing the map editor. And uh, they just recently released uh, this new, the Forgotten DLC. Not really sure what it's about. I mean, th there's some new campaign and there's like some new stuff. Uh, and we're going to check that stuff out. So, without further ado, uh, the way I like to, uh, actually, let's, I don't know why I went into this, that's not what we want, we want to go single player, we want to do standard game, and let's see here, I think, we want to be one of the new civilizations, now I'm not, I'm not sure, I think the, the Magyars are new, I'm pretty sure, and then let's set Let's set everyone else to random, because uh, that way it's more interesting. At least I think so. I don't like to know what the enemies are, are going to be, because then it's easy to tell what kind of tech they're going to have and, and what kind of like uh, tactics they'll use and shit. So Let's do a full random game here. Uh, I'll be on my own team, of course. Uh, we'll play... I think we'll play a normal, like, normal just game of conquest here. I was doing regicide earlier, but I really like, you know what, actually, let's do regicide. That's pretty fun. That's where you have to, uh, you have to keep your king alive. If he dies, you're out of the game. And, uh, map style standard, location, ooh, now, this is a tough one. Usually I do full random, but... Maybe we should choose something something specific here. I don't know. Let's just do full random. And then ludicrous map size. This is new with the uh with the new DLC. It usually it just went up to giant, but they added this new ludicrous, which I think the bigger the map the better. Um difficulty? Let's do I'm not sure if we should do standard or moderate. It seems to me that if you put it, like, to moderate, it just gets so, so much harder. But we'll try moderate. Why not? Oh, man. That'll... You know what? Let's do standard. Just just starting out. The first game, we'll stick with standard, just to be safe. Other players, seven, of course. Resources. Each player should start with high resources, I think. Gets the game a little... A little quickly started quicker I think anyways 500 population limit well that's a bit much let's do 300 300s that's that's plenty and if we put it too high I, I'm not sure you know how this game handles fraps and all that so let's, this is kind of just a test to see here so well reveal map normal and starting age as uh, dark age right seems good and no, we don't want to record this game teams together. Well, there's not really teams, so that doesn't matter. And then, yeah, that looks good. Let's start the game. Here we go. I'm anxious to see how many frames per second I'm going to get. Oh, nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Right, so, what do we have here? This is our castle. Uh... Here's let's real quickly. I'm gonna change the game speed to slow, just so we don't get like because I'm recording. I'm gonna be like multitasking. And usually I have the game set on fast, but my APM is probably gonna be down. So first thing you want to do when you open up the game and you you get settled here, you want to task your villagers. And so I'm gonna have these villagers create a mine here, start mining up this gold, because this is a this is a valuable resources for making uh, advanced units. And then we want to get to the next age as fast as possible. 
so we need 500 food in two what buildings. Up? So, those two buildings, I think they have to be a barracks, a barracks and I think a, a mill or a house will do. Maybe the mine will do, I'm not sure, but barracks, something we definitely, whoops, don't want that. Barracks, barracks, there we are. Barracks is definitely something that you want to get up right away. Let's put that, put that right there. Hey, Pete, that looks real nice yeah, there. I really like to just play this game just like leisurely, basically. I don't, I'm not very competitive. I just like to build my small little settlement and just defend my people for as long as possible. And then uh, if it gets too easy, I just go around killing everyone, pretty much. But yeah, we got four more workers. We need to get them tasked to do something. The mine has been completed. And uh, we got three guys digging up some gold over there. Each, uh, each little thing of gold has like 800 units. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and uh, 48, 56, I think, yeah. So that should be 5,600 gold altogether when that fin when that gets finished. Oh, looks like our barracks is done. Let's make uh, a small little force of men if we can uh, spare the food. Yeah. Oh shit, we don't have gold though. See, that's the thing. You need gold for these uh, militiamen. Well, we can make two. Two's better than none. Uh, we have a scout also. This little scout cavalry. We need to get him uh, to go explore. So I'll just. Set them to randomly walk in one direction. And then, uh, yeah. Actually, I think I'm gonna up the speed of the game to medium, or to normal. There we go. A little bit faster. I think normal will be fine. Right, so. We need 500 food. Um. Oh, here we go. These sheep. There's lots of ways to get food. You can, uh, find little bushels of berries and have your villagers pick them. Or you can find, like, sheep and cattle, and you can have them harvest the sheep and cattle. I'll set three villagers to do food, and then I'll get, whoops, I'll get these three to build, or to start chopping wood. Because wood is something that you definitely need a lot of. Now, the only other resource that we need to gather is stone, but uh, we haven't found any stone mines so far. Looks like our scout hasn't found anything yet either. So I'll just get him to randomly walk around. And we got our two our two militiamen here. So we have someone to defend our king. Because that is the purpose or that is the game type we're playing, is right aside. So we gotta keep our king alive for as long as possible. So we probably wanna fortify this area. Or actually, what we wanna do is we wanna find a really good place like preferably surrounded by cliffs or uh, or even trees forest would work and we want to kind of turtle that's what we want to do but the only thing is it's kind of hard to find a good spot to turtle because once the enemy start building trebuchets they just they tear through your walls and they tear tear down your buildings and it's just it's, it's, a, it's an awful mess oh look more gold so we found another gold stockpile but still no there's still no stone Where's the stone at? And we haven't found any bushels of food either. I'm guessing that's because we're in a tundra. I mean, that would make sense. There wouldn't be much food in this this kind of snowy area. At least I don't think so. I don't know. Oh shit, we can we can kill this boar. That well, we can also hunt wild boar for food, and we can hunt deer for food. But the thing you can you can herd sheep and cow and cattle, I should say. But you can't herd deer and boar. But they are. They are a good source of food. Oh, well then. Have we got... We have enough food to finally go to the feudal age. So, that's going to take a while to research. While that's researching, let's go back to our scout. And we really need some stone or some food bushes, some berry bushes. That's what we need. Oh, come on, man. Where's the resources at? I wonder... I wish you could, like, set your guy to auto-explore, but I don't think... I don't think that's possible. You stop, no attack... See, that's the attack stance. 
garrison. Yeah, there's no, like, auto-explorer, unfortunately. Maybe I should just have him, like, randomly walk out here. Okay, I'll just set him to randomly walk out. Hopefully, he'll eventually find something. Hopefully. Oh, we found another sheep. See, once your guy finds uh, some sheep or cattle, you can just have them walk all the way back to your base. Unfortunately, though, if, uh, if another player finds your cattle, or if they bring a unit near your cattle, then they'll, they'll capture your cattle, so you got to be careful of that. Boy, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of resources. We found, what, three? Three stockpiles of gold? Or no, two. Just two. So we've only got two stockpiles of gold. Oh shit, we've we've gone to the feudal age. Oh my! Wow! I don't I don't think I've ever seen this uh, these kind of buildings before. I think these are new. Oh look, we found stone, you guys. Finally. Well, that took a long time. All right, I'll just have our guy try to find some. I, it, it would be better if it was closer. That's kind of far away. I don't want to have to defend another location. But I mean. We need stone. Oh, here's a here's a worker. Well, I guess I'll send one worker to go to this uh, this bit of stone over here, and then uh, while they're doing that, let's see what we got here. We can uh, research Town Watch, which will give us uh, a increased line of sight, or wheelbarrow which would make our workers move 10% faster and carry 25% more resources. That's actually, that's pretty good. But it costs 175 wood, or sorry, 175 food, 50 wood. Uh, we got the wood, but the food, that's the, that's the only thing. We don't have a lot of food. We really need to find, well, if we can't find bushels of berries, we can have our villagers make farms. Oh shit! Look, there's a there's a closer stone pile over here. Perfect. Go 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 over there. Oh shit! Looks like we're in some sort of icy tundra. Oh look, more gold. But yeah, we can make our villagers uh, create farms, and that'll give us food. But the only thing is, uh, a farm takes wood, so we need a really banging wood production team before we can start getting lots of food. I guess we could do that. We need to find a really densely wooded area. Oh shit. Okay, so all the other uh, players just advanced to the feudal age. It almost looks like we're on like an island, but I don't know. If we are, that would be really awesome. Because that would make it that much harder for them to get to me. That means they'd have to research uh harbors and stuff before they could actually get over to me. Alright, I'll just have them path all the way down there. Right. Anyways, I think it's about time we started uh, getting our wood production a little more uh, streamlined here. I think, oh shit, look at that! There's some berry bushes right there! See, you really gotta explore the entire area because you never know when you're sitting right next to some valuable resources. Right, so, this looks like a really good spot. Oh look, and, and there's stone there too. So uh, we'll just create a lumber camp for 100 wood. This way our workers can just take the wood directly to the lumber camp, rather than going all the way back to the town center. Because uh, that all resources can be deposited at the town center, but then you can also build little outposts that you can deposit resources at. So, now that we found this berry, these berry bushes, we can make a mill right next to them. That way, our workers can go straight from the berry bushes to the mill, and then back to the berry bushes, rather than having to walk all the way up here. It just makes it a lot faster. And then, uh, later we can repurpose the mill and build farms around it, so this can be like our farm area in the future. Right. So we've got the three guys doing gold over there. Oh, and then the stone. Here we go. Wait, was there a closer closer pile somewhere down here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. I'm going to have her make a stone mine right here. And we'll get the stone that's really close to home. Right. And then uh, let's get our scout back out. I really am anxious to see 
how uh, how large this area is if we're landlocked here or, or not landlocked but if we're just like on an island down in the corner of the map or if we're connected somehow I hope we're not It'd be cool if we're on some sort of ice island all right come on show me the ocean where is the ocean oh it's not looking it's not looking very promising you guys I think we're not on an island but there is a lot of forest down here jeez Right, I'll just have him auto auto path. All right. Okay, what do we need to do next? Right, we need to get to the castle age as fast as possible. So we need food. We need gold. We have gold. We don't have enough food, and we need two feudal age buildings. So these people are getting uh, food. We need let's let's get a few more workers uh, to help with the workload here, and let's make them come to here when they spawn so any minute we'll get our new worker here 70 75 80 and boom okay new worker right so we need two new age buildings I think a watch watchtower would be a, a good one we can build a watchtower but where do we want to build it I kind of want to explore this northern area up here actually it's kind of hard to it's difficult to tell which is north and which is east and west and south because this the map is on a corner you see it's like a big diamond so you're not really facing you're facing like north northeast or something right we've got our workers okay let's build should we build a stable or should we build an archery range hmm i think a stable would be better Let's get a stable going, and let's put that right next to the castle, right there. That looks like a good spot. You go and help him. Okay, and then you come over here, you get on wood duty, and you get on stone duty. There we go. Oh, and now we can uh, we can upgrade uh, some of our stuff, I think, like our, our mines. We can have them mine gold faster and mine stone faster. And I think we can do the same thing with our uh, our lumber mills, which we probably do want to do, because we're going to need as much wood as possible for when we have to start making these farms. Right, so now the stables is built, so we need one more new building. Oh shit, these guys. These guys can come, come harvest food with these guys for now. Right, so we can make more scout cavalry, and we can also give them 20 extra hit points for 150 food and uh, 100 gold. I would do that, but we kinda, we're kind of low on food right now, unfortunately. So, let's go back to my scout cavalry up here. Looks like, oh shit, there's quite quite a coast here. Is there, can we go out this way? Is this connected to anything? Nope, okay, good. All right, come back out here, and then I really am curious to see what is up this way? I need to send. I need to make another scout cavalry. That's what I'll do. I'll make another scout, and then uh, let's let's see. We need another building, a new age building. The market is pretty good, but uh, I think yeah, the blacksmith's better because the blacksmith allows you to uh, build upgrades and stuff. And then also, what we want to do, I completely forgot, we want to start building houses for our citizens to live in. That way, uh, our population, you see, is only at 25. That's our, our limit. And we increase that limit by building houses. So, let's build some uh, little houses here. 